Blender's got some pretty powerful tools and you might not know they even exist. I'm going to show you how to use the video sequencers so that you don't need to use external applications like DaVinci Resolve or Premiere. You can actually compile videos from PNG sequences right from within Blender. So I've made this little animation and I've exported it to a PNG sequence. And now I want to combine this together so we can do this right inside Blender. So come across to the video sequencer and then we're going to add an image sequence. So all we need to do is come into our file picker and select all of our images in the sequence. And then we click add image strip. This will bring the strip into one of the channels. And if you come over to view and preview as backdrop, you'll be able to see the image behind. So now we can scrub through and have a look at the animation. The benefit of doing this is that you can output this as a video file without having to re-render the entire animation. So if there's any tweaks or changes that you need to make to particular frames, you can do that. So all you need to do next is come across to the file format and change this to FFMPEG video and change the container to MP4 with the codec set to H.264. And then all you do is just render like you normally would. And it renders it in a fraction of the time because all we're doing is compiling images together. You can also add sounds and videos to this as well. There's a lot that you can do within the sequencer. This just literally scratches the surface. Now, if you found this useful, then hit that like button. And if you want to learn more in the future, then maybe hit that subscribe button.